Cruise news, a rescue at sea involving over 70 migrants in a Royal Caribbean cruise ship has sparked a little controversy and confusion as the rescue unfortunately ended up causing the long-awaited and probably expensive cruise for most people to be altered, missing a very popular cruise port that the passengers on board had planned to visit. In this video, we'll go over the details available so far, as well as video clips that were sent to me by passengers on board. We also have to clear up a little confusion as far as what happens when migrants are picked up by cruise ships in the middle of the ocean. Also, we have a Carnival Cruise Line update as Carnival has announced that they will have an adult-only area in their private destination, Celebration Key, launching in 2025. While people are naturally excited, a lot of people are wondering how this is going to go, myself as well. We're curious because the overall vibe and how Carnival plays this out can go one of two ways. So last night during the evening hours, the local Coast Guard over in Greece would stumble upon a sailboat. Inevitably, the sailboat would contain and be overloaded with over 77 migrants. The Coast Guard quickly realized that they would need a bigger boat as they didn't have the size to rescue all of those migrants, so they called for help. Thankfully, Royal Caribbean's Odyssey of the Seas would be in the area as it is currently completing seven-day Greek cruises. By the way, the ship is capable of holding well over 4,100 passengers at full capacity and is part of Royal Caribbean's Quantum Ultra Class. As Odyssey of the Seas sprang into action, it will quickly be discovered that out of the 77 migrants, some of them were men, there were also women and young children as well. When Odyssey of the Seas got over to the sailboat just off of the coast of Greece, they would send one of their tender boats to tug the sailboat over. I do have video clips that were sent to me. Go ahead and check them out. We are live on the Ionian Sea from the Odyssey of the Seas. We have turned around. Um, we're off of the coast of Greece and have sent a lifeboat out from the Odyssey of the Sea. Mm -mm. 
After the rescue was made and all 77 migrants were on board, an itinerary change was quickly made. Odyssey of the Seas was initially supposed to head to Santorini at that point. However, because they had to drop off the migrants to authorities, the ship would then reroute and head over to Turkey. First of all, shout out to the Royal Caribbean team for their expedited rescue. From what I understand, things went off without a hitch. Also, shout out to More Travel. They are a group of passengers on board that sent me the initial footage. They're currently on Odyssey of the Seas right now. I was trying to find their YouTube channel, but it turns out there were more travel YouTube channels than I had expected to find. Pun intended, by the way. Anyway, as we move on for this topic, here here is the conundrum. Well, there are two, actually. One, people are concerned because they are stating that whenever something like this happens, is it the passenger's fault that their itinerary had to be changed and that these people ended up getting rescued and people had been planning these cruises for months, maybe even years? Because as you could imagine, with Royal Caribbean being an American line, most of the passengers on board are traveling from the United States and it's a big trip for them. And now because of this rescue that was unplanned, it has now been changed. We all know if you've sailed on a cruise ship anywhere near Cuba or in the Caribbean, these things have happened. It's probably happened to your cruise. You've been affected by it if you cruise frequently. There isn't much that can be done. The cruise lines, by law, do have to rescue any vessel that is in distress. And from there, they will consult and talk to the Coast Guards as far as what they should do. In this particular case, obviously, between the Greek and Turkish Coast Guard, they decided that the migrants had to go over to Turkey. Will the passengers on board be compensated for missing Santorini? I don't know. Personally, I think they should. However, However, the cruise lines technically are not obligated to do so, but I'm sure they will do something for them. Secondly, every time something like this happens, for whatever reason, people tend to get up in arms because they assume that since migrants are rescued from a vessel that was in distress, they are now going to be able to enjoy all of the amenities on board the cruise ship that they then board. All of the bingo, all of the lobster nights, festivities, and nightclubs. No, they are going to stay in the crew areas, and that's where they will remain for the entirety of that time they're on board until they are dropped off to wherever port the Coast Guard tells the cruise line to drop them off at. Lastly, in a quick Carnival update, as many of you know, Carnival is currently in the process of constructing a brand new private area in Grand Bahama known as Celebration Key, expected to open in 2025, very highly anticipated. Basically, this is going to mirror what other cruise lines have done, whether it be Great Stirrup K, Coco K, Ocean K, you name it, all of these private areas over in the Bahamas. However, Carnival has taken a page from Virgin and Royal Caribbean and is creating an adults-only area over at Celebration Key known as the Pearl Cove Beach Club. Pearl Cove will have all the fixings, an 11,000 square foot infinity pool complete with a swim-up bar, restaurants with indoor and outdoor dining, day beds, music, the whole nine. You can also book the beach club between now and January 2nd of 2026. Now, obviously this is great for Carnival Cruise Line. I'm very excited. However, many are wondering, myself included, what is going to be the overall vibe for this beach club? Is it going to be similar to what Virgin is doing over at their beach club in Royal Caribbean with a live DJ? Is there going to be EDM and techno essentially creating a party vibe? Or are we gonna see something more of like what we see on board carnival cruise ships in the adult only area the serenity deck where it's more so just quiet chilled relaxed as we all know carnival is known to be the party cruise ship and yeah things can get a little out of hand unfortunately every now and then like other cruise lines out there nevertheless it says in one description that it's going to be a place to relax and chill out. On the other hand, it's saying there's going to be music. And in terms of music, are we talking a live DJ? I'm a little confused. However, I am excited for it nonetheless. I do hope it's more on the party end for everybody that is 18 and up. However, we'll have to see how all of it plays out. But of course, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Hit that like button on your way out. Subscribe if you haven't already. And no as usual, I love and appreciate every single one of you. Take it easy.